Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric, and this is Roan. Before we start, let's talk about the elephant in the room. If you have not seen it, we posted a video yesterday. It was an impromptu extra video. Uh, Zoltan from the uh, Yet Another Mech Lab mod. Um, he gifted me a spectacular, amazing, awesome Corsair Rome. Uh, it's it's beautiful. In fact, hold on. We can even, if we go to the mech market, we go to sell. Um, we come down here. We can go to, oops. There's the basic overview of all the cool stuff that's on it, which isn't what we came over here for, but it's pretty damn cool. Um, but we can go over here and you can see for Eric, Rome, Mellow 7, look ma, no hands. <laughs> so that's our mech. Now, <clears throat> how do you get this mech? Well, you have to have the correct, you know, username in your string, essentially. Um, however, there are some other options. If you use the um, mech delivery mod that we used in the past series, uh, I believe they can show up in that. I don't know if it's 100% that they're going to show up or, or what the odds are, how exactly the mechanics set that work. Um, you can also use the save game editor. And if you want, you can also hit F10, which will bring you right into here. Um, so you could bring up some other mech. So if we wanted to, um, give me a second to figure out what it's called, but we'll, we'll pull up like Baradules. All right, I think it's Mad Barra 2. Oh, hold on, we got it. We got to uh, go. Add mech. All right, added Mad Barra 2 to inventory. So this is the F10. This is the developer kind of library. So you can do this, and I always have in the past done this with the save game editor, um, which is a pain in the butt. Um, you know, if you want to do something specific for a uh, for your story. Um, so anyway, so it's nice nice that I finally discovered how to do this, but that's one way to do it. So you can come in here and, and for instance, we can take a look at, at Barra's uh, Marauder here. Marauder 2 specifically, and all of the good stuff he has. Now, we have a remove invalid. Uh, uh, I believe his uses um, the extra equipment, um, the mod. Um, yet another equipment mod, I think is what it's called. Something along those lines that, that that filled some stuff in. So we don't have everything, but it does bring me up to a point here. You can see here, he's got an Omni slot here. He's got a missile slash energy slot. So if you look and you say, okay, well, he's got 10 energy and nine missiles. He doesn't have 19 slots total for those. He's got things that can cover both. So this is ballistic energy, ballistic energy, missile energy, missile energy, right? So four of these energy slots are, are shared. And if we were to strip the mech from this view, we would see what those underlying slots are. So if we were to go back here, and uh, let's go back one more time. Let's go here, take a look at mine, and we'll have essentially the same thing. So if we were to strip mech from this scene, you'll see we've got all energy in those three. We've got missiles, we've got two projectiles there. So if we go strip mech, we'll see that those are actually ballistic energy slots um, and that we have one ballistic energy here and the other two are ballistic and missile energy. So you can get to that from just this weapon scene because if we go in here, you don't see any of the slots. You just see the total number of things that we could potentially put in there. But like I say, this one is one, 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 one. But if we go back to this view, we'll see that we've actually only got three slots. One of them can be ballistic energy. So I hope that fills that up for you. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Hold on, let's see, can we get rid of a mech through this? Um, list, describe. Ooh, what is this? Well, well, we'll play with that later. Maybe there's a whole nother video just in this. Um, I'll look at it later, but I'm gonna go ahead and reload to get rid of borrows because I don't want to sell it and, and, and cheese some money out of it. Um, so let me go ahead and reload back to where we were. So the question is, what do we do with ours? We didn't do anything to get it except be me. Um, but we need a storyline for how this mech exists and how we got it. Because even if we sell the mech, right, um, we get money, right, for it. And it is it is clanned up the yin-yang. So um, trying to stay G-rated here. Uh, so it's worth some cash. You know, if we were to go in here and we were to say, okay, well, if we were just to sell it, um, yeah, it's, it's worth almost nine mil. 
So what we're gonna do is, we're actually gonna go ahead for the moment and we're gonna put it in cold storage. And what we're gonna say is that in our travels, wherever we last were, we found this. This was one of those things within those special loot containers that we ran across. In a hangar, somewhere on that last planet, we thought we initially saw whatever it was, a weapon or something like that. But when our recovery team went down to get said item, they discovered that there was a, you know, a, a floor that slid back into the ground and there was this mech was lying there, right? But, you know, you have to have the right codes to start these things up, right? They're, they've got encrypted kind of helmets and they're tied to, to, to your identity and we don't have that yet. So much like in um, the base campaign where our characters had to learn to decode the crazy encrypted messages from our dad and the locations and stuff, we're going to say we have to crack the code for this. When we have an assault mech, we will break open the Rome. Now, this is going to give us a fair amount more firepower. <clears throat> you know, um, this obviously belonged to some pirate who had stashed it there, who was maybe working in periphery space close to clan, right? So he's somebody that was out there that had the pirate jump points and was able to get clan gear potentially before, you know, well before the clan invasion happened. So this is one of those few people that's been going back and forth, maybe like dear old dad, uh, but this one probably on the wrong side of both laws. Um, and he's ended up with this crazy pirate mech that we have stumbled across. We just stubbed our toe on it. Somebody's gonna be pissed at us when they come back <clears throat> and discover the Rome is gone, um, which tells you how far this mech has in fact roamed, right? Which is pretty cool. So that's gonna be our storyline. now. Again, it's really good. We talked about self-limiting um, in some previous chats underneath channels. And one of the suggestions was say no assault mechs. Um, I'm not sure I'm good enough to do this without assault mechs. Now with clan gear, clearly you can make heavies good enough to fight standard inner sphere um, uh, technology assaults. What we'll do is we'll limit ourselves to one type of assault mech, one type. We'll go to weight. We'll go to 85 tons. I want stalkers. If I can get stalkers, I'm reasonably confident, even with only inner sphere gear, I can be 400 ton mans. I mean, we can go in, you know, down 60 tons and I'll still be okay. Um, so we'll go up to 85 and the Rome, which as you can see, weighs 115. <laughs> so this plus a stalker gets us our 200. Um, so that's gonna be my goal. Nothing bigger than a stalker. I'm kind of thinking realistically, um, awesomes and stalkers, and that's kind of it. Cause I love both of those mechs and they, I won't say they get superseded, maybe with the awesome they do, but stalkers have so much firepower, but we tend to go past them. They're, they're big, they're ugly, they're ungainly. And we tend to go for the atlases and the highlanders and all that sort of stuff. Um, and we kind of skip over them. So this one, it'll go here. We don't strip mechs that go in here, despite the thing Despite the message, you can see it's still got everything on it. When we crack the code, we'll pull the Rome out and we'll go start stomping stuff. Now, one thing um, I didn't point out in my video, I, I, I said it, but we didn't show it, is the searchlight, which is amazing. I don't know if this is just pure dumb luck, if it already has it on some of these or not, or if just Zoltan knows how much I get pissed off at dark maps and how much you guys complain when I don't remember to boost the, you guys don't complain, you guys are great. but. How it gets occasionally pointed out that, that, that videos are a touch too dark because I don't like the lo low light or the thermal mods because they just become a little bit bland for me. We got the game with spectacular colors and scenes and shaders and we go to like this, you know, IR view. Um, so we've got a giant searchlight on there. So whether that was by design or pure accident, it fits me a lot. So um, I really, really like this mech. If you guys, if you guys didn't know, Zoltan, and anybody else at YAML that may have worked on this, um, True Egg, whoever over, ever over there, guys over there, um, the mod itself was already brilliant. And now you've just, you made my day. You made my day. In a week where I got my first members and we're making our first ad revenue, we get this. It's just, it's it's been a hell of a first week of monetization, let me tell you guys. All right, let's jump back into this. We've got everything working. Uh, Hunchback we had last time, uh, it's fine. Centurion we had last time, it's fine. Um, did I change anything on it? No, AC20, LRM10, it is your stock Centurion. 
Uh, we've got the Shadowhawk up and running. Uh, we had to get an engine for it. I got that. We put a 275 in it, which is what it came with initially. Um, it's got battle fist. It's got improved life support. It's rugged. It's ubiquitous. I love rugged and ubiquitous. Let's keep the cost down. Um, it also makes sense for these to be the mechs that we salvage, right? These are the mechs that survive on the battlefield, that they're parts for. You can go to the local wrecker and find the actuator for your left knee, right? That, that's what it is. You know, that that's, you know, this is, this is your Ford Escort, your Crown Vic, your F-150, you know, to use the Ford ones, you know, your Chevy 350 small block, right? That's what this is right here. So uh, AC-5 Burst Fire, it had an AC-5 on it initially. I have a really good Burst Fire in there. I'm not a huge Burst Fire fan. Uh, but the AI seems to do just fine. We put it on there. I thought very, very hard about going with a medium rifle on this one as well, um, but I chose to stick with uh, the AC just for the extra rate of fire. Um, obviously, damage is about half what the medium rifle does. The one I have is 12 damage. This is 6.6, .6, but the damage per second is, is double. Um, so rate of fire is a thing. Um, LRM-5s, I've got three of them um, scattered across. That's probably the biggest change it had, I believe, uh, Maybe an LRM-5 and an SRM-2 or something like that. Maybe it's an LRM-10. But I had three fives. They're a great weight to um, kind of tube and damage things. So we've got we've got three of them. So this is our fire support mech, um, AC-5s and LRMs. Um, is that it? So that's our that's our, our heavy lance, so to speak. This is our light lance, Javelin, Phoenix Hawk, Panther, Cicada. These are our spares for the moment. Um, we'll toss, we'll, we'll hang on to them. They're not going anywhere yet. Um, I love my Locust. I don't, I, I like Commandos. I'm, this isn't my favorite. I prefer the Javelin with the SRMs over the Commando because you get the jump jets. Um, so I prefer, I prefer this one's, uh, the Super Javi is what I call it, but the, the SRM variant. Um, so that's kind of what we're looking at. I did hire another couple pilots. Um, for a couple reasons, we've got a lot more ballistic now going on than we had before. And so I wanted some pilots that were better at that. Um, I also wanted to have some better pilots in case uh, we have members that would like to get added to the game. Uh, I mentioned that in the last couple videos. I haven't had any takers yet. Um, I'm going to be a couple days ahead. This will be Tuesday. I'm recording it Sunday morning. Try not to have more than two videos kind of in the wings, you know, not live yet. So we're not too far ahead. But, um, but for the moment, that's what we had. So we'd already picked up Captain Burns, who has a nine. We talked about him last time. Um, I picked up Captain McCormick and Lieutenant Barnard here. Um, he is not as great, but you can see he does have a 12 tanking, which is pretty amazing, um, and eight for lasers. So he's somebody, um, and in fact, I didn't know what they had here because it doesn't show you till you're higher. So he's got impenetrable, which is five. He's got two negatives potentially. We'll see how those goes. Uh, if we name one of these characters after a member, uh, we will train out negatives. We will do our best to keep them as competitive as possible for as long as possible, unlike our, our other people. So he came with impenetrable, which is great because that was not that good when we hired him. He was he was a he was a 33 when we hired him, and now we find out he's he's actually got that. So, uh, but he'll be a great tank pilot for us for a very long time. Uh, and then McCormick here, he uh, doesn't get any positives, only negatives. So he's only going to get worse from a skill standpoint. Um, but he starts out pretty good, and he's got a five of eight in ballistics now, and he's got pretty good tanking skills too. So that's what we picked up. Um, man, we've talked a lot so far. We're 15 minutes and we haven't done anything. I am here. We've got a target to kill. That's why I moved us here. Let's take the contract. Difficulty 25, 200 ton limit. Confirm. We'll grab some salvage. We're at 195. Can we go, uh, if we get rid of you, I think the Shadowhawk puts us over though, right? Let's, let's see where we're at. I'm pretty sure that'll put us five over. So the question is, a Hunchback is really good. Um, the Enforcer is really good. Uh, let's see, if we got rid of you, what do we have at 45? We could put the Phoenix Hawk in, right? And then maybe I'll run the Centurion. So let's swap for the Centurion real fast. Uh, we'll put uh, Goblin back in his mech. Check your firing arcs and stay we'll frosty. grab Captain Steward here. I would like, actually, I'd kind of like to get to a point where each pilot has their own mech. Um, at the moment, we've got what? one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six pilots. Maybe what I'm going to do is 
I'm gonna sit down and we're gonna go through our mechs. We've got eight basic mechs, and then we've got some spares. I think we pick kind of maybe our six kind of named mech pilot. So obviously these four get somebody. Actually, hold on while we're thinking about that. Um, let's take Burns out of this one. Let's make the Shadowhawk go with McCormick for now. This is Hunter. Um, so we'll have to figure that out. So maybe I need a couple more pilots and we try to put one pilot to each mech. If we sell, if it's, if it's a member, if it's a member pilot, community pilot, whatever we want to call them, um, they stay forever. Otherwise, when we get rid of their mech, we get rid of the pilot, we hire another mech with his pilot. Because that's how it works in Battletech, right? Everybody's got their mech, right? You know, except for the big militaries. But, but these freelance mercenaries, a lot of these guys come with the mechs they bring with them. So, you know, maybe we treat it that way. All right, let's drop. Oh, we're good. 200, 200. Uh, oh, I don't want Stuart. I want, I want Burns on this one. Because he's the one that, that's run this already, right? someone wants them dead they were last spotted at the locations marked on your map once the job is done head to the eva point before those sheltering the target get wind of what we're up to here man this one is spread out we started in the middle i think we just kind of head this direction uh, maybe we lean towards that one a little bit when we find out if there's somebody there or not there we'll go north and then we can just run through the tunnel on the north. Oh, it looks like we can cut across in the middle there. Kind of that, uh, uh, let's see, FGH. I guess it's H7. You say that. I don't see anybody. Oh, flyers. There we go. Man, stuff landed on top of us everywhere. All right, I think we gotta get within 600 to pop that. Uh, if there is there, I guess we need to go this way so we can wrap that way to get to it a little easier. I'll let them get that. Target destroyed. Looks like we're at the wrong place, Commander. Perfect. Our target must have given us Going this way. Let's check out the other locations. If we're lucky, we'll find these guys before we, uh... Ooh, the music just hit. Come on, the track changed. Uh, if we're lucky, we'll find these guys without having to check every spot. You know what I'm saying? Interestingly enough, they seem to have been covered in dust. The, uh... Wherever it is, the other one we have is too. The Shadowhawk. All right. I'm not seeing our targets at this location. Make way to the next nap point. So didn't I say we could get over? Yeah, right here at H7. We got somebody coming in, choppers coming in. And they're tearing me up. Yeah, suck it, AC20, gotcha. All right, where's the treasure? Oh, there it is. Man, I tell you, the choppers tore me up. That everybody? One more. Good job. Thanks, Goblin. What do we get? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if it showed it and I skipped it. 
or not. I'm just trying to get this tank here before we go too much farther. That is a big boy. All right. All right, everybody can roll with me now. All right, we've got a little path down here, potentially. Shorty likes it. Oh, we've got a bunch of kids on bikes with their golden retriever. Shorty's weaknesses. He wants to chase the kids on the bike, and his best friend was a golden coon hound. So anytime he sees something that kind of vaguely looks like a vaguely looks like copper, he's he's got to let him know he's in here. He is he is up for he's up for some games of tag, a little wrestling. All right, next one, almost there. Everybody's gonna be at the last one. I can't believe that this huge map with all this stuff, and they put everything at one spot. And of course, it was spot that might have been closest to us, but we we ignored to go the other direction. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Oh, we got Max. We got Max. Oh, too close for the missiles. Trying to get rid of that AC uh, ten of his. There we go, look at that. Webs came in with the hunchy and just took it off. We uh, continued with actually a pretty good shot of our own there. Almost. Uh, turret. Or not turret, tank, I'm sorry. I, if I was gonna step on it, if it was a turret was what I was gonna say. Got him. All right. Good, we didn't want him in our back. That's the first one we saw. Yeah, see? Depending on how close or far away you get, the reflection, I think, is the problem, maybe. Reflectivity, it, it's reflecting the certain color when you're far enough out and when you're getting close, it goes away. If I had to make a guess. All right, we're getting close. We could go. I have a visual on the target. Take them out. On the other side there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of put everybody kind of up here-ish for the moment, and then I'm going to peek. See if I can get them to come out. And then we'll get them as they trickle out rather than all at once. There we go. There we go. They're peeking around the corner there. We're taking our shots. People are getting the, the spots they need. Now we've got LRMs, but really we're a brawler with our AC20 here. So we're gonna start to uh, roll around the corner here and move everybody else back up to, I would just have them follow me. Ah, missed that one, damn it. There we go. Keep chasing him. Those SRMs and stuff. He is dangerous. Can we get you? Yes. Put some missiles on you. And then maybe... I was hoping you had low enough armor that we could... Uh... Yeah, you mostly do. Back up. Get some missiles on him. Uh, oh, too close. 
I've been trying to get this tank, but uh, they won't. People keep drifting in the way of me here. See, is he gonna come out here? There we go. Ah, missed it. We missed that one. He's actually still got a fair amount of firepower on him, if we're honest. Four medium short burn, short burst. Ah, he's so skinny, I just blew it past the waist there. Not that time. Man, he's taking some hits though, isn't he? Can we, can we punch him? Uh, hold on. Uh, weapon groups. Three. Yes, we can. Man, this... He is taking a lot more damage than uh, Vulcans normally take. There we go. Jiminy Christmas. What do we got going on over here? Irby, okay. Took off his large laser, but he's still got, he's still got an AC-10, a small laser, excuse me. There we go. Took off most of his stuff. We've got the trench bucket here. Let me, let me squeeze him behind, run in front there. Go after him. Let's look through the smoke. I love the fact that the reason. Oops. Let's use our shield arm here. Ready? Missed it. Again, let's let's use that shield arm. Is everybody on him? I don't know if I hit him or not. I hit something. I'm gonna back up. He's circling this way. Ah, no, I missed it. Damn it. We'll try to keep the arm. He's got an ammo explosion. There we go. There's one more over here somewhere. Oh, they're bringing in some big boys. Um, well, they're bringing in somebody. I don't know if they're big boys. It's just somebody. Vehicle? No, no. Okay, we got a javelin. I am low on ammo. I'm not sure this is a fight I want. Did you just shoot me, dude? Don't do that. Oh, I had the shot I wanted. I missed it. What do I got left? Four rounds left. Okay. We should. Target mech eliminated. Through the back. Hunter here. I'm getting banged up in here. Oh, the Shadowhawk went down. No. Oh, and then we killed him right after that. Ah, damn it. All right. Well, I don't know what happened to him, but we'll we'll get out of here now. <laughs> We don't have a choice. Well, we got a choice, but. Well, that one went square shape, pear shaped. I guess square shape too. But we'll go pear shaped real quick. Oh, we got some AC-10 ammo. That's what it was. All right. So we got 24 bits. We could get a Centurion. Or a Centurion. We could get a Centurion too. We can get a Trebuchet though. I get he's missing the engine. He's just, again, the 5J. So just the one LRM-15. Hmm. We did see an SRM-6 one in there too. We just didn't get the deal for it. I mean, we could do something like you and you. Is there any gear down here we know we want? There, there's some I wouldn't mind having. If we're gonna take a trench bucket, I say we take the one that's already assembled. Let's go with
let's go here. Because if we know we're going to have to put an engine in something, we're going to want some money. So selling the Vulcan should get us part of the money for an engine for, for the trench bucket. And we don't know what... Well, now we know what happened to Shadowhawk. McCormick's dead. We had him for one... We had him for one mission. He was not cheap. And he died and, and took the took the Shadowhawk engine that I just paid for out as well. So McCormick and the motor survived one, one mission um, and didn't do a lot of damage. Look at that, 303, 218. Goblin did 342, but only took 71. Webb's in the, in the Hunchback, she did great. I did okay. Yeah, it's really the Hunchy. I mean, just the surprise of no one. Okay, well, I'm glad we didn't name that guy after anybody. <laughs> if somebody in the next couple of days wanted to pilot it, well, they don't know McCormick exists. We're okay. We're safe. We're safe. All right, let's see. Let's see how bad it is. Yeah, he lost the weapon, the expensive weapon, and the engine. All the cheap stuff is still here. All the expensive stuff is gone. Um, the question is, do we keep it? Or, or, uh, we sell you. Yeah, you don't have an engine either, right? Yeah, no, you don't, ha you don't have anything. You're a leg. Um, we sell you. We need, we, need the, we need the 500K there. The question is, would we rather rebuild this? So at the moment, it's just got the one LRM spot. It's an LRM 15. I'm not sure that an LRM-15 does us much good at this point. I think the spread of LRM missiles across light mechs, vehicles, and stuff is probably a waste of ammo. So probably we downgrade it to a 10 and maybe run four or five medium lasers, or even potentially put an SRM-6 in it and turn it into a brawler. Five mediums and an SRM-6, five SRMs, and a, sorry, five medium lasers and an SRM-6 would give this thing some serious punch. So if we were to go, uh, do I have an SRM-6? Um, gives us a little bit more, it says. It overestimates what an LRM is capable of, because it gives you the damage for every missile, but you're lucky if a third of them hit. You know what I'm saying? So that's not too bad. Um, we need some more cooling, but we have three more tons for cooling if we wanted it, so we could throw some of that in. And we're not getting the cooling from the engine at the moment either. I think we'd get just one. So that'd get us a 1.8. That might not be too bad. Hmm. I will think about it in between episodes and we'll build whatever we build. But if you've got a suggestion, let me know. What can be, whatever can be done can be undone, right? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Cheers.